Okay, hello everyone. Okay, so we're still working with the first program.py file. All right, so we've seen the print function and how it works. It prints out what we want it to print, the argument we want it to print. So for example, I can write something like random text. When I run it, it prints it out for us. Um, we've also seen how it can print a variable. So we can declare a variable like age and set it to 27. Remember, if we put double or single quotations around this, it becomes a string. It no longer becomes an, uh, an, in, an integer or a number. OK, so if I leave it as, as a string over here and I print out age as it is, it, it's going to print out the content of it, which is 27, the string 27. But if I print out, sorry, the same age with quotations surround, surrounding it, all of a sudden, I'm not printing out the content of age anymore. I'm printing out the string, okay, age. And that's why when I run this, it's going to print out age as it is. Okay, if I declare a variable as, an, as a number, as an integer, 27, and I leave this, I'm printing the string age because it's surrounded with double quotations, okay, or you can use single quotations. I'm printing age as it is, as it is, as a string. So when I run this, it's still going to stay as age. But when I remove the quotation, okay, and print out age without quotations, so I'm printing out the content of age. When I run it, I'm printing out 27. All right, so how do we use the print function to print out multiple items, right? So if, if I wanted to, let's say, say that I am 27 years old, right? I can tr attempt to do that with a string. First of all, and say something like, I am, <clears throat> sorry, I am 27 years old, 27 years old. Now, this will work. This will work. Now, the only problem is I'm not using the value of age. What if I change the value of age to, let's say, 29, and I run it? It still says I'm 27 years old. I want the program to be able to use the value stored in age. So when I change the value of age, I want it to change here in the string too. So I can attempt to do that by using the name of the variable, right? But guess what? Age is surrounded with double quotation. So I'm printing out the string age as it is. So when I print out this, it's going to say I am age years old because I'm printing out age as it is. How do I use the value of age in this print statement? Now, with the, the print function works in such a way that you can not only, I mean, you can you can pass in one argument into the print function, all right, but you can also pass in multiple arguments into the print function and print them. So let me show you an example. First of all, with, with strings, I'm going to pass in some some strings. This is the first string I'm going to, I'm going to pass in. First string, all right? Let's just run this, and it prints out first string. If I wanted to add another uh, string to it, I can continue. I can continue with this. I can go ahead and continue with a space, for example. But another way you can do it is by using a comma, okay? And another string, I'm going to say second string. Run it. And we can see that I'm, I'm, I'm passing in two arguments, separating them with a comma, and it's printing out first string, second string. Now, I'll, I'll point out a few things here. Let's add another one, change it to third string and then run it so we can see first string second string and third third string now notice that there is no space in between this double quotation mark and then the capital letter f here there's a space in your right and that space is being displayed here there's no space at the end of g of g and at the beginning of s but we can see that there's a space i'm sorry <laughs> my whatsapp is on let me just disable it really quickly okay All right, so we can see there's no space at the end of G and at the beginning of S, but when they are displayed, there's a space separating them. Basically, there's a, sp there's a space separating each of these arguments. We can see that this is the first string here, first string. This is the first string. This is the second string. Second string is being displayed here as well. And this is the third string and third th string is being displayed here as well. Now, when you're passing argument into the print function this way, separated with commas, by default, 
the individual arguments are displayed with a space separating them. By default, that's how the print function treats them. It separates each argument. So this is one argument. This is another argument. This is a third argument. They are separated with commas, right? When they are displayed, they are separated with a space by default. So we can see a space separating the first string and the second string here. And we can see a space separating the second string and the third string here. So if we wanted to say something like, I am 29 years old, using the value of age, we can, we can do it. First of all, we know I we know we are mixing out we are mixing two things. If I if I print out the contents of age this way, we know we're going to see twenty nine. But if I surround age with double quotations, I know I have changed this age to a string, so I'm printing out age as it is as a string. And so when I run this, I should I'm going to see age as it is. So uh, it's tricky because if I if I keep age in in my print in print function as an argument separated separated with double quotations i'm printing out age and not the content but the rest of the stuff i want to print is, is a string like the string i am you know all the, all of that is a string if i wanted to say i am for now let's just leave it blank i am dash years old oh this is this is a string that i want to print but how do i add the number so that it, it's able to detect the number 29 from it so this is where we can apply passing multiple arguments into the print function. So you can do something like I am. I am is going to be one of our strings. And I'm going to put a comma here, right? Don't worry about this space I'm putting here. That's just for re readability. Like, that's just for me. I can decide not to put it there. This space doesn't affect anything. Um, we'll, we'll talk more about it. Don't worry. All right, so I am is going to be one part of my string. And this is why I want to use the content of age. So I can just put an age here as a, as a second argument. It could be anything. It could be any separate argument. It doesn't have to be a string. I'm using the variable. I'm passing it, it in as a second argument. It, doesn't, it could be any data type. And the print function will display all the arguments by default, separated with the space. So I am is one. And age is another. I'm going to passing another str string here and say, so I am... So it's going to use 29, 29 years old. So this is my first string. It's going to display I am, and it's going to, by default, separate each of these arguments with a space, right? So I am space, and it's going to use the content of age, right? Because I'm not surrounding age with double quotations, so it's not going to treat it as a string. It's going to treat it as a variable and use its value. And then it's going to separate age and then this, sorry, years old. It's going to separate age and then this string years old too with a space. So when I run this, now it says I am 29 years old. Right? It's separating them. This is the first argument. First argument, okay, without the, without the double quotations. It's separating the first argument and the second argument with a space. And age, it's using the content of it, 29. So that's the second argument. We can see another space here. And then we can see the third argument, years old, over here. Now, if I go back to my code and I change the content of age to, let's say, 10 all of a sudden, and I run the program, now it says I am 10 years old. It's dynamically using the content of age as I change it. But if I was to, was to change this to double quotations, all of a sudden I change this to, be, to become a string. When I run it, it now says I'm age years old. I remove the double quotation, and this becomes a regular variable. It's going to use the content of it. Run it. All right, so this is you know a kind of a first look at look at how to pass in multiple arguments into the print function, and you can pass in more. You can pass in more. You can ke just keep on going, and it, by default, it's going to use a space to separate each of these arguments when they are displayed. All right, so we'll talk more about the print function and you know and its other functions. I mean, its other you know features. So, all right, if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves as always, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.